I want people to know that we had an African American who went into international ministries before international missions was popular. You know that country song. Um, he was a missionary before missionaries became popular. And he left our country and we thank the Lord that he took his burden of evangelism and missions to a different country in Jamaica. I actually first heard of George Lyle when I was 40 years old attending seminary. I hear about this incredible story about this faithful Baptist preacher who was like just one of the first black Baptists in so many different things. So now hearing about it, born in 1750, so this is pre-Revolutionary War. Um, he's born to enslaved parents and um, he begins to attend church with his uh, Baptist deacon um, and slaver, master, and it was there where he hears the gospel and is, is just completely transformed. And from then on, individuals there just notice his, his passion for the Lord and his ability to communicate the things of the gospel. And he begins preaching and teaching to all of those enslaved persons and began to just establish all these um, these churches and these disciples began to be raised up. And uh, at, that, at that point, the, the British were promising that those who were enslaved, if they would give their support to the British, that, that they could come out of slavery. Um, so, so his story is that his, you know, his, his enslaver master was a, a British loyalist. They're, they're down there, he's fighting in the war. And at the end of the Revolutionary War, when his freedom is at stake, here it is, you have a, a nation fighting for their freedom, but want to continue to enslave individuals. He departs and actually catches a ship and goes uh, with the British to Jamaica. But it was there where he, uh, again, began to preach and teach the gospel, raise up disciples, and to uh, plant churches there in Jamaica. So uh, to hear that story from this, uh, what is known in the history record as pretty much the, the first licensed black pastor uh, there in the South who has established uh, many first uh, black churches in those areas. Uh, it's, it's really incredible to hear that, hear that story. The, the importance of the legacy is you don't necessarily have to be the first. There are others who have gone before you, and they have been used greatly of the Lord. George Lau, an African American born in slavery, but became one of the great preachers and missionaries from our country. He's gone before you, and he's a great example. Uh, some 10 years before William Carey leaves for missions, uh, some 20 years before Adoniram Judson leaves for missions, here you have this black pastor, this black preacher who is passionate about the Word, uh, word of God in spite of all that is going on and establishing churches. I mean, that, that, that's an incredible story. To, to recognize here is a man that left our country, went to another country. He didn't know anybody, but he went to this country, and in the process of doing that, he built a church. He was an evangelist, he shared the gospel, he, uh, he talked about the cross and the need for people to come to know Jesus, and they did. And uh, to, to see the impact of his ministry is phenomenal.